Take the Bible and turn with me to Ephesians chapter 4. And verse 1. Paul says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation for which you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Amen. Just uh, for a few minutes tonight, I'd like to talk about the power of, of one. And uh, you know, I was thinking about how how God is a is a is a our God's a God of great variety, Amen. I mean, you look at nature, you look at uh, I mean, look at the colors that God put here. I mean, just you know, just the beauty of a sunset. Uh, you know, looking out, uh, just every color. You know, every you look at the, the the animals and the birds and every you know, so much difference. I mean, there's just all kinds of difference, and there's all you know. Just look at people. I mean, our personalities, you know, we're, we're different. We, the way we look, you know. I mean, you know, not everybody can be real good looking like some of us. But, uh, no. But, uh, can't be. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but we're all different. I mean, God, but, but when it comes to spiritual things, according to what I see in the Word of God, that, that God's not so much into variety and into into a whole uh, realm of different things. He talks about one. Amen. He talk, talks about one God. And and, and there's you, you have you thought about how much power there is in one? Because with one it, you're focused on just one, right? You're not focused on a whole different by uh, just a whole bunch of different things. Well, you know, sometimes you can look at a, a, a beautiful sunset or something, and you just don't know where to look. There's so much beauty out there that to look at. You don't know what to focus on. Amen? But when, when we, God says, you know, we, when we're talking about the things of God, the spiritual things, He talks about one. Amen? He talks about, and, and there's power in that one. There's power in that one. There's power. Uh, there's, there's power in one Savior, amen? He is the power that purged all of our sins in that one Savior. In Hebrews 1, 3, it says, Who being the brightness of His glory and the express image of His person and upholding all things by the word of His power, when He had made it, when He had by Himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, amen? It's not a whole... A whole bunch of saviors out there. Uh, not a whole bunch of things. You know, uh, this world says, "Oh yeah, you know, well, you know, you you, you have a you, you know, you believe your way, and I believe." But there's just one savior, I and mean, there's just one savior that has cleansed us from our sins. There's just one we can look to and say, "Hallelujah, glory to God!" He took all of my sins upon Him. He took all of my sins. He is my savior. Amen. They can have Muhammad. They can have Buddha. They can have who. I don't know what it is, but I've got my Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, that's taken all of my sins, and none of them can claim that, amen. We have one Savior and one that we can look to and glorify, amen. There's power in one. There's power in one Spirit, amen. He said, he said, I hope one of us to receive power. That he said, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witness in, unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and the other much parts of the earth. We have power in one spirit to be, to be, have the power to be witnesses in this old wicked world. Amen. By one spirit, and there's power in that one spirit. That the power to overcome all this wickedness that's in this world by that one spirit. We don't have to look anywhere else. God's given us the comforter, I mean, that one spirit has come to give us victory in our lives. That one spirit's power in that one spirit. There's not a bunch of spirits, there's one spirit, amen. 
as power in one body. And you, you ever think about how the, how much power? How, I mean, you take you take a group that together. That's what we're supposed to be as a church. I mean, the Bible says, as a body of Christ, we're members one of another. Amen. It's a one body. I mean, you think of the power of one body. Focus on one thing to glorify God. Amen. That's where the power comes. That's where, you know, you know, I mean, you know, the, the, the reason that, that God has blessed his ministry, there was one vision that God gave one man, and there was a body that a lot of believers that followed that one man with that one vision, and that one God gave him, and that's what God used to, to, to do through that one, one, one vision. Amen. There's power in one. And when it gets split up, you lose that power, amen. You know, God, the Lord, Brother Rodney mentioned the other day, but, but the Lord really heard me here recently about, about how Satan, how he uses distraction, amen. He uses things to get our mind and our focus off of the one Savior, off of the one body, off of, he, can, he uses everything, anything he can use. He uses our job, he uses uh, he uses a Whatever, and you can name it, a million things he uses to distract us from the one thing that God wants us to do, and that's please him. I mean, continually, I just, that's what he does. He does it beautifully. He, I mean, he, he knows how to do it, amen? He knows just exactly how to distract me. And sometimes it doesn't go very much if I'm not walking in that one spirit, amen? If I'm walking in the place, it's easy to get me distracted. All you have to do is not smile at me. I'll say, oh, I didn't. What did I do? I mean, they don't like me anymore. I didn't lose total focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm worried about, and, and, and instead of being concerned, I said, well, maybe they've got a problem I need to pray for them about. I'm worried about me, and, you know. So I, sometimes they get real easily. But, if we have that one, amen, that one. And in that same area, one mind, amen, there's power in it. He said one. And if we can, in Philippians one twenty seven, he talks about striving together with one mind. And that's what it's all about, having that one focus, that one, that one whole, I mean, we get so bad stuff because we get this one so full and just, you know, you know, you know, you ever think about you go to the store and used to be you could buy a bottle of ice cream because you had a headache, but now you sit there and you get all kinds of eggs before you can figure out what to buy to help your headache because there's so much different stuff out there to look at. The devil's got distractions there. I mean, you know, the, the television, the radio, the iPods, the internet, just distraction after distraction after distraction to get our focus, our one mind focused on anything besides what God wants us to do. There's power in that one. That power of the one body to fulfill the purpose of the church. He says in Ephesians 4, 15, 16, that speaking the truth of God may grow up in him in all things, which is a head, even Christ, from whom the whole body simply joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure. That's what Brother David was talking about, running that race. And, 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 and when, when I start seeing, when you start seeing me stumble and get weary and, and I get distracted and say, hey, Brother Martin, Hey, hey, uh, hey, let me help you. No, let me help you. Look, there's the gun line. Just, just, oh, just up the head. Go ahead, let me help you with that, brother. It looks like you need to. I'm here, you know. Can I pray with you, brother? Can I, can I encourage you a little bit? I mean, that one mind and that one purpose, that body. Amen. Amen. And praise God, you know, there's power in one word. You ever see, you ever realize, see how much that the devil used all these different uh, 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 perversions to distract people from from the one purpose that God has them. You, you, you can't go up there and preach the one word because they don't, they say, well, is that the word of God? I don't know. Mine doesn't say that. You know, 
There's one word, I mean, and there's power in that word. I have what is there, but I can read this and I can know that this is what God says for me, for you. That's, that's the only reason I can even preach, because well, without that, I, you know, if I was having to say, well, now I wonder. Let me look around, let me get them all out, let me compare them, and let me see. You know, I like the way they say, oh, well, uh, now, this is a better rendering. Well, who, well, where did they, who decided it was better? I mean, you know, did, who, who decided that that was, uh, well, you know, I like, you know, I like what it says in the living Bible. But who cares what you want? The devil likes what it says in the living Bible, too. That's what I'm telling you, said, amen. There's one word. And there's power in that one word. You can have power, you know, he says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by very word of God. That guy, what am I being words of God? There's power in the one word. And we have faith. There's one faith, amen. There's not a bunch of different faiths. There's faith. And through that faith, we have power to have peace with God. Amen. And through one Lord, and then we have the power, we have we were preserved, the Bible says. He says, and to him seven things before I came, he said, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever. And but we have one Lord the Lord is preserving us. Amen. Preserving us for eternity. Amen. Oh my God. One word that we can look to, because he and he's preserving it. And you know something? In closing, uh, we have, and there's a lot of other ones, but uh, you know, when we have trouble, when you're struggling, when you mess up, you know, the power of one sin, unconfessed, is terrible because it just can multiply and go way beyond anything you can ever. That power of one sin. But God praise God, you know, holy God. God gave us one mediator between man God and man to man Christ. He said we could come boldly to the throne of grace and to put our sin and be faithful and good to forgive us and to close us from our own unrighteousness. Hallelujah. We got one mediator, amen. And if you just come to him, he's faithful every time. I'm um, how wicked I've been. I've been faithful I've been. I mean, I've done this like that. I still come to him. But he's still faithful every time. Praise God. Amen. Let's all stand, please. Thank you, Brother Martin. Two great messages. Amen. Take it home with us. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the word that's been preached tonight. And Lord, help us to get home tonight to meditate upon what we've heard. And I pray, Lord, that we will be given to you. We will thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we'd ask you now to protect Angela. I pray, Lord, that she's fine. She's doing all right. And we'll thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name. God bless you, Lydia Smith.